Hi, welcome to Perth Pottery Painting. I'm Tori and I'm going to talk you through using some of our wonderful silk screens. Um, I wasn't planning on videoing today, so forgive the lack of glamorous location. Um, forgive the noises in the background. I've got the stereo on and I've got various things banging, clashing around. So it's either Tchaikovsky and the music or it's one of the studio cats doing something ridiculous. Um, not breaking pottery, I hasten to add. Um, so I'm doing something for Father's Day. I've got lots of different designs. The one I'm going for today is a best dad ever. And that fits pretty perfectly onto a classic mug. So I've so far mixed up my black glaze with some of the medium, the silk screen medium. I've mixed it together on a tile. I've made a smooth paste. It takes about two or three minutes to really mix up. Try and keep it all together, not too spread up, spread out. I'm actually going to add a tiny bit more glaze to that because it's been sitting there. The longer it sits, it just dries out slightly and thickens up. And because I've got quite a big design, I've got quite a bit to cover. So silk screens are, I think, pretty cool because they can give a really professional finish, even if you are a bit pants at painting yourself. So what I did on the mug earlier, I just sponged over a colour all earlier, all over, and then I silk screened some designs onto that. I'll probably finish it off with a rim as well, just to give it a bit more polished look. And then once it's had a clear glaze over and fired, that looked pretty cool. Not much painting involved. Right, let's go for this. Now, I have a habit of getting this everywhere. It's not the end of the world if you do get it everywhere. You can always sponge it off with some clean water. Um, if you've already got paint on your piece, that makes it a bit trickier to control. So here we are going onto a totally plain piece. My classic mug. This one fits just about onto it. You can see the silk screen. I've got a black line all the way around it. I'm going to make sure when I spread the medium on it goes all the way up to the line to make sure the whole design is covered. Also going to make sure I've put it smooth side down. And this one's quite easy because it's got writing so you know which way up it's meant to be. But smooth side down onto the mug. I'm trying to line it up as carefully as I can. And then I just start smearing the medium all over. Let me see here. Actually, once you've got a little bit of the medium on, it sticks pretty well. You don't have to hold it in place too rigidly. You do want to make sure it doesn't shift around too much when you're doing this. And you just gently spread a nice, even, thin coating all the way around the design. This always turns out a little bit better if you take your time. So you can either have the joys of listening to the banging and crashing in the background of the music and the cats. Which is probably a bit better than me singing while I'm concentrating. There we go, just making sure every bit's covered. As I said earlier, it does have a tendency, maybe it's just me, of spreading itself over all my fingers. <laughs> and um, I have to be really careful not to touch bits of the piece afterwards, because I tend to forget sometimes. So I always have a pen, dip my finger in some water as soon as I've done, just to make sure I'm not going to get any on the rest of the piece. Silk screens can last ages as well if you look after them. So to make sure it's not going to clog up and dry up, I always have a bowl of water next to me. Or if I'm only going to use it once for a piece, I pop it in immediately so it can rinse. Right, you can see that's got the covering. 
I'm going to dip my finger. It's also worth probably having some, if you're not wearing an apron, some kitchen towel close by for drying your hands. A bit of a apron wiper. That sounds awful, doesn't it? Anyway, um, <laughs> time has come to peel off. All ready for sucking up for Daddy on Father's Day. Perfect. 